Hey guys, it's Dominic for Heliobyte. Today we're looking at the hacks into the Yahoo mainframe server things. What's going on, what happened, why and when actually. And then Uber self-driving cars, or not self-driving cars, according to them, and their fight with the California government and DMV. So let's get right into it. Okay, so what happened with Yahoo? So Yahoo is trying to sell off some of their core assets. $4.8 billion is the number that's going around. Marissa Mayer is the president of Yahoo, and she's the one who's been coordinating the sale. Now, there were two massive data breaches. Now, the Financial Times reported that she knew about these way back in July of 2016. And they even go as far as to say that several employees would have known as far back as 2014 about these attacks. They're saying that data was stolen up to about a million users, a billion users, my mistake, sorry. And that's everything from friends and all kinds of information except for plain text passwords but it's still a good idea to change your password. Now apparently the attacks actually took place in August of 2013, and we are just hearing about this now in 2016. So I don't even know if this is really a problem, and if you haven't felt any repercussions from this, I don't even know if you should be changing your password. And then I was gonna say something about cybersecurity due diligence. Yahoo really dropped the ball on this one. And then apparently during this entire spiel, Marissa Mayer is nowhere to be found. She's off on vacation somewhere. So, so the other thing I wanna talk about is Uber self-driving cars. Now apparently, this is, this is interesting. These are fully autonomous cars, much like Tesla's, but going even further. And apparently they, are under attack by the California DMV because they don't have the correct permits that you need for having this kind of car. But apparently they are saying that um, they don't fall under the same category as Google or anyone else who's trying autonomous cars out in California right now because they always have a driver that is behind the wheel at all times, ready to intervene. So technically it's not fully autonomous because they have to have a driver in the car. But literally the driver just sits there doing nothing, waiting to intervene. But so what does this mean for all of us? Now they say this tech is available all over the Bay Area, in Teslas and so forth, and that none of them have any permits. But what are the repercussions for us? See, Lewandowski is their self-driving car engineer. He rejects the claims that Uber is trying to avoid accident disclosure. See, that's the important part here. Normally, when you have an autonomous car like this and they're trying to tweak it and get it to really be fully autonomous and drive correctly, whenever there are any kind of accidents or problems, anytime the driver has to intervene, that is supposed to be reported back to the California government. That's why they have the permits, that's why they do this, so that they can kind of see it and gauge it and see the advancement of, of this technology. In this case, they're not being transparent at all with the government. And the worst part about it is they're kind of trying to take the driver out of the driver's seat and just keep all the money for themselves. They are trying to replace taxi men, which, I mean, is the basic evolution of, of things. Eventually, you know, any job can be replaced by technology. But here they're trying to do it without even following the proper protocol and everything, and it really irks. On the same topic of Uber, Uber CEO and Elon Musk have both been named by Trump to be his tech advisors uh, in his cabinet. Now, I don't know what you guys think about this. Maybe we just need to let Uber experiment. I mean, in the end, that's kind of how a free economy like ours can advance towards the future. It's the only way you can kind of really push the boundaries because if you're if you're trying to have a free economy and you put up barriers and make it difficult for people to advance by having regulations and things like that, it can make your free economy very, very slow, like Belgium. 
I mean, do we need to just let Uber experiment? Just let them do their things? Just like, okay, you guys, you just, you know, push this technology out and we'll see what happens. Or are these regulations there in place for a reason? Do we need to be forcing them on people and making sure that they're following these regulations? I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think this is good? Do you think it's bad? No. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Anyways, I think I really like making these videos, so I'm gonna keep pumping these out every week if you guys keep coming back to watch them. If you do like this content, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.